So what's been happening with you, Didi? What's going on? Yeah, but we've been quite away for a while because uh, we've been working on the convention. And about two weeks ago, we, we went to Amsterdam. So me, Gary, and the team, we met up in Amsterdam and did the final the final decision making and the final negotiations. And just, you know, we went to the campsite, we went to the venues, we did the transport options, we tried everything out, we took some pictures and recorded a whole lot of things. And we went looking for debaters as well, but uh, unfortunately, we had to make some final decisions. So now a couple of weeks after the visit, we changed up the website a bit and the, the schedule, everything been switched around a little bit, but you know, it's getting closer and closer. So we have to make some, uh, some calls now, otherwise it's September before you know it. Huh. Can't believe it's already May. I know it. That's just exactly what I was thinking. I was just trying to see and think in my head, what the hell have I been doing? I know, next month is halfway through the year. I mean, it only started a few days ago, didn't it? Madness. That is madness. So yeah, you... I... Go ahead. Like you say, I remember we started a year, uh, a year before September and now we're halfway there already. So it goes by so quickly and, you know, before we we can we can finalize everything, you have to make some decisions because a month goes by in an instant these days. Certainly does seem that way. Yeah, hell, it's already May. Criminy. So what's new, DD? What you got on the on the cards for us? Well, the first thing is we we went to visit the Friday schedule because we had some plans for the Friday and have a little party there and. You know, Mark Devlin was coming and Martin Lidke was doing some comedy and we had the open mic. But the, fine, the the venue itself, we looked around for a couple of venues and it, they were just all too tiny or it didn't work out or we didn't have the electricity or it was just a, a, a pain in the ass, like they say. So we decided to cancel the Friday venue and just went for a, a party at the campsite since we're already at the campsite. They have plenty of space to have like a, a campfire we have some benches over there. So uh, we went to the campsite and, and stayed there for uh, two nights when we went to Amsterdam. So we took a whole lot of pictures. That looks like my shed. I mean, it mean, looks like the shed I wish I had. <laughs> cool, blimey. That's yeah, awesome. I've, I've got an important camp. question on that. Got those. Why did you start with the toilets? <laughs> well, a lot of people ask, ask about the uh, sanitary options in campsites so we decided to make some very clear pictures about the toilets and this is a shower for example so it has everything you need and it's it's very clean and it's a great little campsite i can't remember do they have toilets in amsterdam i mean or do you squat <laughs> any france it's only paris or you probably get fined by doing something in, in public these days. I wasn't talking about in public. <laughs> <laughs> Amsterdam, there's people everywhere. So. He's scared, I'm Didi, whether you've, you've got, got those continental toilets where every now and again you, you, you nip off on the continent. for. A, I'll just go to the toilet and you go there quite happy until you see there's just some footmarks and a hole in the ground with a couple of disabled handles up to the wall and if you don't lucky. know what and you've got to go you don't know what to do or do you have a porcelain throne like we do here in civilized places stop giggling just answer the question <laughs> <laughs> that's when i went into it was in africa and it, it didn't have it it had a, a hose a tap and a hose instead of toilet paper and I wasn't having that. So I got a big wad of shillings out of my pocket and uh, they did the job. Probably the most unhygienic thing on the planet to do. They if it was a planet. <laughs> In Italy, I've got a B-Day, John. I miss my B-Day. <laughs> you can get conversion kits over here now, I saw. The epithelial cell turnover rate of my arsehole. <laughs> this is the B-Day. <laughs> anyway, how do we get on to that? Yeah, moving on, because I've... <laughs> Seems like all of our conversations is up at Adam's asshole. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> An image now. 
looks really yes. cool though those pictures you've got going there are they going out over the live stream i would certainly hope so so that should be all about adam yeah let me let me make them bigger there you go there's the toilets <laughs> <laughs> the throne yeah i got most of the pictures are on the website now so if people look on the feconvention.com you will see uh our updated information, new pictures of the inside, some pictures of the venue. So you just get a, a better idea. That venue is gorgeous too. Yeah, we're really happy about the main venue because everything worked out there. We just had some problems with the Friday venue, but so far so good. So another problem we encountered is, is debaters. We had a lot of problem finding decent debaters because we didn't want to get students like we did last year. and we got a lot of YouTubers uh, stepping up to be a debater, but you know people can can go online for a for a flat Earth debate. There's plenty of that online, so we had to make a choice and we decided to scratch the debate because we had to move the speakers from the Friday to the Saturday as well. And so the whole program has been switched around, but it's still gonna be a a great convention because uh, we have the the tour coming by on Monday. They will be joining uh, the stage as well. We have like uh, 12 speakers in total for Saturday. We, have, we will have six and Sunday we have seven. And that's uh, another <coughs> another part of the, the big news I wanted to tell you today is uh, we're having a new speaker to be announced today. And I'm very, very excited because it's the first time he's gonna, he's gonna go on stage and do like a, a presentation. So very excited about the new speaker. Don't keep us in suspense, man. Right. <laughs> I was gonna say that's harsh, oh, isn't it? That was a tease. <laughs> so yeah, who's the speaker? Oh, you just saw it on the on the picture. We have uh, Zach joining us as a speaker. He's a uh, he's from Spain. Most people know him as uh, Doctor Zach, but these days he goes by Decimal Z on his uh, channel. And he will be joining us for a uh, for the convention as a speaker on the Saturday, probably. And uh, we're very excited. I bet that's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's amazing. He's one of yeah, my just an amazing content provider. Yes, one of my go-to guys for sure. Been loving his work. And then there's a rap song out there with this awesome rap chick. I don't know if you know her. Did G DJ Dizzy Karen? I don't know something about Spinny DJ chick. I don't know her name, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, but Zacharan is always the. Uh, Fun and games in the evening, lots of laughing. And then during the presentation, he has a, a lot of research he did. He has a lot of great content. So I'm a big fan and I'm very excited to have him come over. Yeah, that should be great. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Great job getting him to come out and do that. I know it wasn't easy, but well <laughs> done, DD. Just got to get him on here now. <laughs> right. There you go. A new quest. Yeah, that leaves us with like four spots left and I already have an idea, but we're still working on it. And I hope within a couple of weeks, we get the whole uh, website out and then it's counting down to the summer. Quickly counting down to the summer. Yeah, it looks like so we have on Saturday, we have Iru Landucci, Roxanne, the globalist denier, Jaron Campanella. Then of course we have Decimal Z, Zach himself, your newest announcement. Open mic night with Miss Patricia Steer. Awesome. And then a kick-ass comedy set with one Mr. Martin Leadka. That's going to be an awesome Saturday night. That's a first as well. A lot of people know Martin by his, his work in history, but not a lot of people have seen him do a little comedy. And that's uh, Martin's big passion. So I'm excited to have him on stage as well. Just a little, uh, little laughter after a day of serious presentations, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, good to uh, have a bit of letting your hair down time, I think. That should be fun. I just need a bit of clarity on that. That's right. So no Friday night in the in the Amsterdam bar, but it's a party at Dee Dee's tent. <laughs> yeah, something like that. We're really? going to have a... We can do some early registration. We're going to have a, some big barbecue or something else where we can get together and then after that there will be a big ass campfire at the campsite so we would i think we would 
chatting last week, DD, talking about it, and I think that's cool, actually. Um, people will mingle a lot, lot more. Um, get to know each other, and then sharing Martin's jokes on Saturday night. So that 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 sounds cool, but yeah, I think that'll be uh, better for for us to integrate. You know, what I mean? you can smoke as well, which you probably can't do in most of the pubs out there now. <laughs> and out there, I know it's terrible. Isn't it? well, if anybody has a guitar, bring the guitar for the campfire because uh, Iru is flying in, so he can bring his, but he loves to play so. I encourage people to bring their guitar. Or ukulele. Or ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see, Sunday, we've got Karen B. and Paul on the plane both already lined up, and then you've got your four empty slots still waiting to fill. And time quickly approaching. That's going to be an awesome, awesome time to be had by all. That's <laughs> that's good stuff right there. I'm going there we are. Also have a people, a couple of people attending. So the, the biggest, uh, the biggest part of this is of course the the European Globe Light Tour. They will attend the first UK convention. They will drive around in in Europe for a couple of weeks and then come to the uh, the Amsterdam convention. So Jason and Daryl, they will be uh, the big the biggest guys. They're doing the whole Globe Light Tour together. So they will stop in Amsterdam and be attending as a guest all weekend. Like uh, Robbie Davidson as well. No, it's not. It's not the Iron Stick anymore. It's been upgraded. It's the Iron Staff. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're right, dude. Yeah, we still have a couple of people on the list, but uh, already have an idea who that's gonna be. It's just a matter of waiting until they say yes. But like with Zach, I'm I'm gonna keep asking for many many months. <laughs> Eventually, it will it will work out. But we will know within a, a couple of weeks. Well, I sure wish I could make it. That's going to be exciting. Everybody needs to need a passport, Corey. Ooh, yeah, good point. Good point. Well, thank God for Adam Eakin and the Iron Staff, then, because <laughs> I'm not getting a passport. How are you looking on that, Zach? Um, well, I don't know. We're going to, I'm going to have to see what, um, is going on up in Michigan in September. That, that might be right around our last harvest. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, Michigan, the winter comes early. So if we're already having frost by then and it's a good haul, we have a nice, um, uh, a nice harvest and, um, uh, yeah, I'll definitely do whatever I can to get there for sure. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely on my bucket list for sure. I've not given up on meeting you yet, mate. Oh no. If, even if that doesn't happen, I'll be, I'll be trying to come at least to England to see you and, uh, Savage. <laughs> sometime here real soon. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's a must. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to get to the conference if I can, but if not, then. Jolly old will be right. Will be That's what I was going to say, Zach. Is if we can't somehow figure out a way to get over to the conference, which I'm still working on, man, you and I, at the very least, should pool pool our resources and head over there and hang out with the crazy Brits. <laughs> Thank you for a pint there, yeah, Walt. Thank you for a pint off. I work for tobacco. <laughs> I know what to bring, John. I know what to bring. <laughs> what a bore. Cheap. <laughs> Excluding taxes. I didn't say how much tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry to go sideways. Zach, Zach, bro. Where are you at now? Because, like, I know I've, I've not spoke to you, mate, in it was like ages, probably about a week and a half. But where are you at now? Because I know you were. Off on your, as I know, we need to catch up separately on 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 the Hebrew learning and and, and the yeah. Lots, I've been but... uh, I've been actually getting really into scriptures lately. I I was blessed with a beautiful book that is translated from Hebrew into English, 
without the Greek and then the Latin and you know, it's it's straight from Hebrew to English. Um that Jack and Carolyn blessed me with and I've been going into it and I'm already finding stuff that's like, Whoa, what is what's this? Never heard this before. So yeah, we'll definitely get caught up on that. But um still in South Carolina. Actually I'm in Georgia right now, southern Georgia, heading to Florida to go visit um well, we're going to pick up one of their children who is visiting family down there. And then we're going to stay the night over at uh, A. McKenzie's house. Shout out to Adam and family. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm so excited because Hank gets to see his buddy Bo again. Check the garden. Every time I say it, his head pops up. Huh. Yeah, you got to yeah, um, you know, head other... to Karen B. next week. Build her a garden. And then I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it, man. Josh, I've, i got to be in Michigan by the 15th, so I'm going to bust my butt to get Karen's done as quick as possible. And hopefully I'll have enough time to come and shoot over there and at least hang out for a day. You know, I want to see you and get that hug and uh, get you your hat <laughs> at the very least. Well, don't I might have to shoot off. I know, I watch you, though. You know, it's there's nothing about feeling like I have to. I want to. You know that. Well, we would all be terribly disappointed if you didn't make it, but we would absolutely understand. Yeah, if it doesn't happen before this, you know, the, the spring up in Michigan, the start of our getting the seeds into the soil, because, you know, the creator doesn't wait. I mean, we can't plant lettuce in the snow. So you got to do it when the time is right. But yeah, if I, if I can, I'll get there. If not, it'll definitely be this fall, this winter, sometime like that. Because um, I plan on going nomad again for the winters, for sure. Because <laughs> Michigan winters are no fun. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know how, how well Dixie would take that. She may insist upon coming up north for a little bit just to say hi. So it's cool you guys are always more than welcome. Yeah. You may have you to, up then to come get that hug if you can't bring it. So it's cool. Whatever. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. There's going to be plenty of room to... Hey, hang on. I'm going to be camping most of the time. I got a uh, 12 foot by 16 foot, one of those old, um, not old, but a, uh, a garage where they put the plastic over it. And I took the, uh, got rid of the plastic. And I'm going to make my own canvas, but it's a nice steel frame. Like, it was made for a carport. And I'm going to build my own canvas tent and put a wood-burning stove in there. And that's what I plan on staying in most of the summer. I mean, I have a place I could stay in, but I want to be out there by my plant. I want to, you know. Mm -hmm. You should crochet that motherfucker and make him look like a giant <laughs> hang so made hemp hat. Uh, I, yeah, I might. We'll see. I'm definitely, I want to sew it at least. I want to buy the canvas myself and sew it up myself. The crochet in it, that would be cool. I might that would be something I'm gonna be working on, maybe. It's a great idea, Adam. Maybe your window shades you can crochet. <laughs> something a little more real. There you go. Yeah. That'd be a little bit more realistic, yeah. Because it's big. It's like twelve feet tall at the peak, eight foot tall at the side. That's awesome. Yeah, twelve foot wide and it was twenty feet deep. And you just but, uh, deep in your truck? Well, no, it's uh, it breaks down. It's right. like the uh Still, metal steel break. tubing. Still think that tubing would take up a lot of space, even broken down. It'd be a lot of tubing. No, nah, not no. too bad. No, nah. it's um, it fits with all my other stuff back there. <laughs> believe it or not, yeah. That's awesome. But yeah, I can't wait to get it back put together. I've only put it together once. One of the pieces was missing, but uh, with the skills that I obtained over the winter, I was able to cut up a couple pieces because it should have been twenty feet deep. I had to take off four feet. And I took some of the tubes and cut them up and welded them together and made a corner piece. One of the corner pieces was missing, but you know, you adapt and overcome and improvise. And, yeah, it's, it's gonna work. Fabricator extraordinaire. Oh yeah, there ain't nothing we can't do. Can't is a, can't is the only four letter word I want to say. Our buddy Mike D who hangs out with us over there on TFR in the mornings. Shout out. He just said he wants to see Zach's bushcraft channel. 
So I think I know your next, uh, that sounds like the new channel for you, showing everybody how you do this stuff all the time. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of videos coming from Michigan once I get up there of everything we're going to be doing. And uh, yeah, I'll keep putting them out as long as I'm. <laughs> That's uh, Jack's daughter. She's so cute. Four She's years old. Awesome. Uh, full of energy. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'll keep putting out stuff, and that's. I like that bushcraft. I might have to. Yeah, I'm gonna follow that. Like, thank you. I like it. I like it. <laughs> well, sweet, Didi. What else you got for us? Anything? What's pressing? Would you say, damn it? I gotta make sure I tell everybody out there that watches IRM this. What was it? Something? Anything? What do you got? <laughs> I would like all of you guys to get together in a, in Amsterdam the last weekend of September, so we can have some fun together instead of doing this hangout. We can just right meet, person meet to person. Face, right? That would be amazing. It would be one day, DD. The hug is going to happen. I promise. One day soon. Oh, they're nice hugs, Walt. Too believe me. A lot of energy coming from those hugs. I'm just going to need to start playing the lottery. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there we go well yeah you don't need the lottery just take that first step i'm telling you man things tend to work out it's wild yeah that's that's probably the final thing i want to say because like Zach said you have to take uh, some steps and just live and do something you know so uh, i got a, i got an opportunity in my personal life to get the job of my dreams so I decided that for me this is the last uh, the last convention I will be uh, I will be organizing. Well, that's sad to hear, but I'm glad to hear you've taken some major step. Do you mind sharing that with us, or is that going to be a surprise for later? Well, I'm, I can't say where I'm going to work because uh, you know flat Earth is is bringing a lot of difficulties in in many people's that's lives. Understandable. <laughs> understandable, absolutely understandable. Well, just lots of congratulations and love, and please stay in touch once that does happen. I will still be listening to all the shows and be in chat. I'm I'm just not going to be investing so much time and energy in in organizing meetups and conventions because I've been uh, I've been doing a lot of a lot of a. Uh, meetups and, and all these things and going to the experiments and I went to uh, two conventions or three conventions in the US right now I think two so I've been I've been all over the place I had a lot of fun I'm, I'm always gonna be a flat earther but I'm gonna take a little step back but Amsterdam for me is like a, a goodbye party so I'm hoping a lot of people will come and celebrate with me well, that's a reason for people to go yeah. sign up right now if I ever heard one. Damn straight. You just added a whole new impetus to me wanting to get there this time around. So, damn it. I guess I'm going to get that GoFundMe up after all. <laughs> nice guilt trip, DD. Get in there. I might be at the next one. I, I just want to wish you all the best, DD, and thanks for everything you have done for us all. Good luck. Yeah, second that as well. Your dream job, mate. That's not working. Yeah, so I'll be moving in, in four months, and that's just before the convention. So it's going to be a lot of uh, very busy times for me the next couple of months. But I'm, I'm still going to catch up with you guys once in a while and give you the newest speaker because we're not there yet. It's just uh, a little more excited left. And then once the whole the whole list is, is up and going, then it's going to be a race to the clock the last two, three months. And then before you know it, the weekend is over. And for me, life will change. But I'm, it's going to be a blast. Uh, I had so many great times with all of you guys. I'm, I met people who became family, so it's never going to change. It's, it's just going to be a little bit of a different. But I'm hoping everybody will celebrate. So the last weekend of uh, September, go to feconvention.com and you will find all the information and we'll keep in touch. And hats off to you, Didi, being able to get your dream, dream job, land it, and uproot your whole life and just completely set off on a whole new adventure um and that the, the job itself i think is going to be really fulfilling as well so congratulations that's really exciting thank you guys for all the support and you know i've just i've changed the last couple of years because of flat earth I, um, I became a lot better person and, and doors are opening just believe in it believe in yourself 
live every day and be excited and happy and good things happen. It's it's great. I've I've been very excited. Well, thank you so much, Didi. You're more than welcome to stick around and hang out, but I know it's late there where you are. I know you are busy, been putting in a lot of hours at your jobs now. So if you want to go ahead and bow out, I totally understand. Otherwise, that's it's awesome. <laughs> awesome to hear that you got your dream job. Sucks that you're not going to be able to be able to put together any more of these conventions, but the last one ought to be huge. So everybody needs to sign up, get out there, get your tickets, and go say hello and goodbye to Didi because we will miss her terribly. Thank you so yeah, much. We love you, Didi. Thank you, guys. I'll be listening a little bit because uh, Cammy's my my favorite thing. You know, I love her, so I want to be I want to be here and and listen to what she has to say. But I probably disappear quietly and go to bed. Uh, somewhere in the show because <laughs> it's going to be a long show i guess <laughs> yeah they typically are especially when we get a, whenever we have a chance to talk to cammy Didi, i am so happy for you um congratulations i i know where you're going to be working or what you're going to be doing and it's it's perfect for you um it's it's called actually living and that's what we're supposed to be doing and so all of my love to you um just the biggest congratulations and even though People have to step in for you with a convention putting together and it's big shoes to fill what you're doing is something that is really living. So much love. Uh, thank you, Cami. I love you too, you know. A big massive hug. If we but could, those 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 shoes, <laughs> those shoes that would be filled. Those shoes that would be filled are terribly huge. Um, to the point that there may not be anybody willing to step in and fill them completely, which I think is why everybody needs to hurry up and get their tickets and get, get their flights and transportation and everything lined up to get out there so that we can actually say goodbye because odds are there won't be another one, at least not in the way that they've been the last couple of times. So if you really want to get the full effect and be able to get out there and get that DD hug, then I suggest you guys get your tickets now. <laughs> So with that, let's head over to say hello to Miss Cammie Nodell. We've had Cammie here the last couple of weeks in a row, which has just been an absolute pleasure. I have enjoyed every minute of it, just opening my eyes to all sorts of new stuff. And I don't think this week's going to be any different. So hello, Cammie. How you doing? How's your week been? Oh, it's it's been a busy, hectic week. We've had all kinds of light, you know, wonderful things going on. Um, you know, things with our son in school and family events and we've had snow and now it's warm today and, you know, the whole mix. It, it's been a great week. Well, good. Glad to hear it. Um, so I think first off, um, Adam suggested that we play my appearance um, on the radio that I happened to make this week. So I think we're going to knock that out first and then we're going to jump right in. But before we play it, what are we going to get into this week with you, Cami? Okay, what we're doing today is, is um, as I was explaining and doing the pieces net with everybody, I realized that, and it's fair, um, that I've been working on this for four years and I've been putting all the pieces together and I sit on each idea and I might think about it for months and ponder it and that. And I'm covering it in a few sentences and jumping around. And what we really needed to do is, um, even though I'm not an artist, is make some type of a visual grid and a list out of all the pieces that we're putting together so that when we go in and are doing different things, we see how it fits in with the model. Now, last night I was up until three something, maybe four in the morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm so um, artistically, challenge that um, I am doing this in a Word document, but I'm hoping that in this Word document, you guys saw, I, I put in the chat, I put in like a little bitty preview of it. I filled in a lot more and I could present it pretty, but what I'd like to do is, is I'd like to actually, what I've been doing in the background is um, filling out and doing little detail work on it. I have a lot of descriptions in that to fill up, you know, for instance, the high heavens, um, I'm missing Shamp Shambhala, things that people may be in the group or people in the chat could think of. And so why I'm putting together the grid, so when we do pieces, we can go to the grid and look at them. Today, what we're doing is we're making the grid or the diagram of it. So um, I can even share a screen now and give people like- You there, Adam? 
brief look or whatever you your thing and when you come back we'll, we'll bring it on there in the meantime i'm doing a little clip art and adding as we're going a lot more to do on it but we can get through like why we're doing it awesome yeah that's exciting i'm really going to dig that hey zach can you hear us I oh i'm know. sorry guys i no, switched right. back over no i uh somebody called and i don't even know how to work my phone I put <laughs> you on hold and i didn't know what was going on now i don't know but yeah, I can hear you. Sorry about that. No, it's all right. Just tell Adam we said hi. I wasn't sure exactly which Adam to which Adam. <laughs> right? That was confusing for me as well. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, Mr. McKenzie called. And I was like, uh, hello, can you hear me? And he wouldn't say, I think he might have butt dialed me. <laughs> I don't know how to turn hold off on my phone. I have no idea. These things are I'm trying to get away from all this nonsense. But yeah, yeah. sorry about that. Nope, no worries. Well, I reckon I ought to just jump right in and play this. Um, I guess get out of here. 